What is up guys? Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. I've got Asher here right behind me. And yes guys, we do know that it has been a few weeks since we published. We apologize. We were actually revamping some things on the website PlanetChinchilla.com, which subsequently tied up a little bit of our time, but we are back. We are going back to our normal Sundays, 10 a.m. publishing schedule. One video a week. This is the first Sunday that this video is coming out, so you can count on those videos being back every Sunday now. Again, the holidays and working on the website interfered a little bit with the publishing schedule, but we will not let that happen again. And in today's video, guys, we are going to go over a topic that I've gotten a lot of questions in the comments on other videos about, but the topic happens to be about chinchilla superfoods, which could be classified as a few different things, but for the sake of this video, we are going to cover bee pollen granules here and rose hips. And I have actually talked about these in a few other videos, but only briefly for a minute or so. This entire video is gonna be all about it. We're gonna dive into how to offer it, where to buy it, how much, what you need to watch for with your chinchilla, and everything that goes with it. And we're starting right now. Real quick guys, before we get started, I do want to make sure that if you have not subscribed to the channel and you would find learning about chinchillas or the best way to take care of them helpful, be sure to subscribe down below and be sure to give us one of these thumbs up because whether you know it or not, the thumbs up is the most powerful thing you can do to give back to us here at Planet Chinchilla to help us get seen by the YouTube by the YouTube algorithm by other chinchilla owners. So again, guys, do it right now. If you haven't done it, just give us a thumbs up. Helps us out dramatically. And never forget to visit planetchinchilla.com. That also helps us out immensely, get seen by other chinchilla owners on Google. All right, guys, so depending on the websites that you go to, the blogs that you read, the other YouTube channels that you watch, you have likely come across treats that you can offer to your chinchilla. These range from things like dried oats to things like we're going to discuss, like the rose hips here, which I'll pull one of them out of here so you can take a look. But they're just these tiny, dry little rose hips here. And the bee pollen granules. The problem with treats for chinchillas that most people don't understand is there is limits, quantities that you should try and stick to. You can overdo it and it can be dangerous. So you do not want to just freely be tossing these into your chinchilla's food bowl all of the time. Otherwise, it could cause digestive tract issues, stomach issues, etc. So the rest of this video is going to break that down. But again, we are specifically covering just these two for this video. And to kickstart things, we are going to start with these bee pollen granules here. So the first thing I want to cover is where can you even order these superfoods or treats for your chinchilla? And I get both of mine, or the rose hips and the bee pollen here, from chinchillacity.com. I would check them out. It is cheap, ships pretty quickly, and I've now been using it long enough to have confidence in the product itself. But that is where you can get it. Again, chinchillacity.com. I will drop a link in the description below for you for that. But that's the first tip that you need to be leery about whenever you are going to offer any kind of treats or any of these superfoods is get it from somewhere reputable that you trust. You know, for all of the subscribers on the channel, I'm sure that you know that I have had one chinchilla pass away on me already, younger than expected. Now, do I know for sure that that was a cause of anything in particular with diet? No, but it makes you think a little bit more carefully before you start just freely offering too much of a treat, too much of a food. You just get a lot more careful and educated before you go throughout these processes. So let's start with the bee pollen granules here. The first thing that you need to realize is that this is a one to two times per week type of treat or food supplement, if you will, for your chinchilla. You also need to keep in mind that when you pull these out, I'll pull them out here for you, out of their bag or their container is that they crush, it's very hard to even show you on the camera, they crush extremely easily, kind of turns to powder in your hand very quickly. So that's where it can become an issue for people to put it in the food bowl. So what I recommend is doing just a couple pinches of it in your chinchilla's pellet food bowl. You can sprinkle it on the top, and if it's your first time ever doing it, just sprinkle a little bit on the top, see how they you know, respond to it, if they go quickly to their bowl, if it seems like they love it. Then clearly you can go ahead and keep offering it, but if that's the case, one or two times per week. Once you know for sure that they are still responding okay to it, which the easiest way you can 
really track this kind of progress is to keep monitoring their poop. Poop can actually be a really telling sign if a chinchilla is ill because they poop all the time and it's typically roughly the same size every time. So if it's getting smaller or the poop is decreasing in frequency, you could be running into issues such as stomach issues, digestive issues, a blockage, things like that. So once you've worked up that tolerance a little bit, now you can start doing about 15 to 20 of those tiny little bee pollen granules in a pinch in the bowl one to two times per week. So to recap, if today was Monday, well, we'll just assume it's Sunday because it is Sunday when this video is being watched. You know, if I grab a pinch, it's probably got 15 to 20 in, my, in between my fingers here. Sprinkle that on our food and then maybe Wednesday or Thursday do the same thing. If you don't sprinkle it on the food as often, you could offer it as a treat. Uh, maybe use it to get your chinchilla to come back to the cage if they're out for playtime, etc. I'm not saying how you need to allocate your two pinches of 15 to 20. I'm just telling you that that's enough. I don't think you need to go much over that. I'm sure that there's some people who do more, who do less, etc. But I have had no problems with Asher here offering that amount with the bee pollen. Again, if you have any like deeper concerns about this, call your own vet. I'm not a vet, so you know, take this advice at what it's worth, but I have had a chinchilla pass away, so I am a little bit leery before I give out advice about what to feed them freely and in what quantities, etc. All right, so now let's talk about the rose hips. This is a little bit different because even though it's another superfood, these are extremely easy to grab one or two of these. Again, Chinchilla City is where I got these. Link will be in the description below. But this is different because you can, you know, visibly see what you have in your hand, put it in the food bowl. It's, it's more of a treat, in my opinion, to offer. This is more of a sprinkle in the food bowl as a supplement type deal, more of a treat type deal. Same thing goes for these. They don't need to have one rose hip every single day. I use these as a treat, typically on dust bath day or day, cage cleaning day. So she gets out of the cage no problem at all. Like she wants to get out and go have her playtime in the playpen, but getting back sometimes is not her number one thing on her priority list to do. But if I use one of these rose hips, she is much more responsive to do so. So I typically do two cage cleanings or three dust baths. Sometimes I don't do a full cleaning on that third dust bath, but that gives you an idea of how what I use these for. And I do use things like dried oats as well, sometimes in streets. I mix it up a little bit, but those are three safe options. But again, not every day, not handfuls of them. One, two tops, a few times a week. These should be, you know, whenever you buy these at Chinchilla City or wherever you buy them from, you're gonna get, a, I mean, these would be much more full than you see them here, but these are still, the rose hips are my second bag, I'm sorry, total. But I think I bought them in, I wanna say October or November, and first bag of bee pollen granules still. I mean, this you should not be flying through this stuff. All right guys, so we've talked about where to buy these two options, rose hips and the bee pollen. We've talked about the quantities to offer, and we've talked about monitoring poop. You know, nobody knows your chinchilla better than you do. So with that being the case, you need to keep an eye on things, in my opinion, no matter what you're offering them, unless it's Timothy Hay or your pellets. Like we all know that our chinchillas are good with that, right? It's recommended for years diet, but the rest of it, you know, none of us know your chinchilla like you do. If you see any major changes with behavior, things like that, then figure it out with common sense if they're responding well to it if they like it i can nearly guarantee that they're gonna like both of these asher loves them and then again guys i want to stress heavily that i'm not a vet so if you have any reservations about doing this call your vet you know you don't have to rush out to buy either of these things because you watch a youtube video i am saying that i feel 100 percent confident that they're that they're safe but again i have had a chinchilla pass away i know that it sucks especially when you don't really know why and I wouldn't blame you at all for contacting a vet if you want to double check. Keep an eye on things, like I said, after the fact. And another tip to throw in there when it comes to anything diet related, two things I want to touch on then we can move into the rest here. But number one is nothing replaces the Timothy hay or the pellets. Those two things have to be there. I don't care if you use, you know, hay cubes and, you know, other chew sticks and other treats, but those two things can never leave. Those are, that's the primary diet. That's where they get their fiber. That's where they get some of the proteins. They have to 
have those things in their diet to remain healthy. So always make sure those are there and that they are the majority of the diet. And number two is, this was recommended to me actually the first time with my first chinchilla and I neglected to do it in a timely fashion. I somewhat regret that and I've actually read YouTube comments about this tip as well. But get a scale that is easier for you to weigh your chinchilla. I think that that's a really good way to always be paying attention to their growth, especially when they're younger, because they're such, you know, what is it, like 80, 80 hairs per follicle or however that works. They're extremely soft, we all know that. But they're hard to, you know, have an easy gauge on if they're gaining weight, losing weight. So get a scale and weigh them every now and then, once a month, once every couple of weeks. Check in on their weight, make sure that if you've changed up something or you're introducing new treats that you're keeping tabs on, they haven't lost, you know, four ounces of body weight because maybe there's an issue. That is a little off topic from what we're talking about, but it is kind of still related to nutrition, diet, superfoods, and treats. So I wanted to make sure I threw that into this video for you guys. And of course, make sure you guys leave comments about how you do your superfoods, your rose hips, your bee pollen. I'm always interested to know what I could do better, what other people what other people in the community could do better with their chinchillas and just what's going on with your chinchillas in general. So make sure to leave those comments for us down below. And guys, like we said at the beginning of the video, those thumbs up dramatically help Asher and I get seen by more of you on YouTube. Helps us get out there to all the other chinchilla owners. It's actually the most valuable thing you can do for us is just one of these. Click below, give us one of those thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Hit that notification button so you are notified. And again, guys, forgive us for the two and a half week delay on the video. And keep in mind that future videos will be every Sunday back to the 10 a.m. Central. We are Appreciate you guys remaining patient with us. Appreciate all the subscribers. We hope you had excellent holidays. We hope 2021 is kicking butt for you so far, and we will see you next Sunday at 10 a.m. Central. Thanks for stopping by. Take care.